it's starting to look like Jimmy Garoppolo may not be the quarterback on this team next year. What would you do with Jimmy if you were the general manager of the 49ers? How would you proceed? Um, well, I keep hearing all this stuff about a no cut, I mean, a no um, trade clause in his contract. There's no such thing as a no cut clause. Yeah, I, I, true. I've, I've yet, I've yet to see that one written into anybody's contract. Um, so that, that one doesn't exist. So that's not an issue. Um, I would proceed. The uh, proceeding ba- is based on who's out there, who's available, because the job of the general manager is the on is the ongoing good of the team. The head coach's job is to win right now. Uh, do you look at you brought in Garoppolo because you thought that this is someone that both guys, one guy believes he can help me win right now as mm-hmm. a head coach. General manager obviously looked at it saying long term, this is our guy. I have no problem with anyone at the quarterback position saying this is the guy. You identify your guy, go get him. I mm-hmm. never have a problem with that. It's the most important position in pro sports, so I have no problem with it. If you find out he's wrong, you're wrong. Move on. That's that's my thing. Don't don't go. It's like man, it's like playing craps. Don't don't yep. chase bad money with good money. You can't do that. So, um, who's available? So that's, that's always a question. Like, what do you do next year? Everyone keeps saying that. Get rid of Jimmy. For whom? Okay. okay. Good point. Just because just making a change just for the sake of change doesn't make you better. So who's available? You start. Let me see who was, who's available. Then we can talk about moving on. But if there's no one else, there's no question he's the best quarterback on this team. So until you can get one that's better, stick with him. Well, would you replace him for a rookie? Um, does a rookie make you better? It depends on who Not necessarily. Is. And that's what I'm saying. Not necessarily. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm saying. It, there, we can throw all these hypo, hypotheticals. I only replace him if I get a better player. Yeah. It's that simple. If yeah. I can get a better player, then that's it. That's every position. That's football. That's the way I was raised as a Niner. You better be better tomorrow because we're looking for somebody better than you today. That's football. Eric, what if you had just signed a six-year extension? You have no worries about job security and you feel you can do whatever you want to do. Do you get in? Do you get the rookie quarterback that you've always wanted and say, you know what? I'm going to start him. What are you going to do? Fire me? Um, well, yeah, well, that's the NFL. Yes, you'll get fired. First of all, there's no such thing um, as a okay. six-year deal in the NFL. Every okay. deal is a three-year deal. That's it. The average career in the NFL is three years yep. for players. Um, that's that's just the way it is. Uh, you don't get – there is no luxury of this long-term deal. Everything is evaluated. Every three. doesn't matter if you're the coach, the cook, the quarterback. Um, no, no one gets a free ride, so you can't look at it that way. You, it, it's a performance-based business. So you look, you're coming in, you got your new deal, you still have to win, or you're gonna be unemployed. You'll be making money, but true. You won't, true. but you'll but but you're gonna be unemployed. Uh, and the money's there. That's that's the given. Guys wanna do the job. Uh, when people get caught up, and I, that always gets me when they're when they're printing the guy. And when I played, why do you need to print a guy's salary? Why do we need to talk about the money what a guy is getting? No one gets paid what they're worth. You get paid what you negotiate. And if you have negotiating leverage to, to get a check. Then that's it. They they that's what you're worth. If they pay you two dollars to do a job, Cam Newton decided I'm going to play for seven million. Okay, Jimmy Garoppolo is playing for whatever he's playing for. It has it has no bearing on what they've done or what you think they can do. It's what they were able to negotiate. True. So well, if the so go ahead, go ahead. Sure, sure. So we've talked about quarterbacks right here, right, Eric, and I do agree with your mindset of. Well, yeah, I would like to move on from Jimmy, but I would also – I think it's all about upgrading the quarterback position, and I don't know if they can do that. Well, so as a defensive player, you're a cornerback. When you study quarterbacks, what are the traits that you look for and you say, that to me makes a good quarterback? Do you look at intangibles where is the guy poised? Do you look at his mental process? Do you look at his physical talent? What to you strikes – Strike. What strikes out to you as, hey, this guy is a good quarterback because he has these X, Y, Z traits? Uh, accuracy. Um, <laughs> that's number one. Uh, if, can can you throw the ball where you want to throw it? That's that's the most important thing. Uh, all the other tangibles and everything that you people always get into. This guy's a winner, and this and this guy. Uh, you know what? He, he he's just he's when he walks into a room, everyone lights up and they're all going to follow him. Well, if he can't throw the damn ball where it needs to go. 
that, that's irrelevant. So, that, mm-hmm. so does the, is the guy accurate? Does he have a strong enough arm to get it there? Uh, because that's going to let me know what he's capable of doing on the route tree. If a guy can't do everything on the tree, then I know that there are things that I don't have to defend. Is, is that so? Yep. I don't know what you're going to do, but I know what you're not going to do. And that's that's the first thing you do as a defensive player. I, I want to take. I want to start to eliminate things because remember, as a defensive player, it's about reaction. I don't. I don't yes. know if, if 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 your comment is I thought as a defensive player you screwed up right there, because you because it, you're not thinking, you're reacting. Uh, you 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 have you you are looking at the evidence presented to you, and if you show me you can't throw a deep out from uh, the far hash, I don't have to cover a deep out from the far hash because you can't do it. So I'm going to look at the things that a quarterback can and cannot do. Uh, now, once we look at the accuracy, we will, we look at the arm strength. Now it's the mobility. Can he can he move? And if he can move, is it moving to throw, or is it moving? Is it like Aaron Rodgers where you're moving to throw, or is it movement where he's going to run the ball? Um, you, you know, and, and there are some quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson, or is it both that you have to worry about, like Russell Wilson? So all of these things come into play. Um, and then can he throw to his left? Can he throw to his right? This this applies to receivers. This applies to this applies to everyone because some receivers can't catch a ball. Um, on, they can't they can run it out to the right side of the field, but they can't run it out to the left side of the field because right. of their dominant eye. And you you pay attention to these things, you'll see that a guy's a dominant has a dominant eye. So when he has his hands in a certain um, ah. angle, it's going it's going to um a, it's Blake going to have a up. blind spot. He's going to have a momentary blind spot to where he's going to double catch a ball, which gives you an opportunity. Now, in this situation, I got to play the ball in the air. But on this side, I can knock it out of his body because he never catches it clean. So He can't track it. Things, yeah. Yes. All of these things go into play. So it's the same with the quarterback. Um, does he throw the run? Does he have to set his feet? Um, can, he, can, he make, can he make this throw to the left side of the field? Can he make it throw to the right side of the field? Uh, is he accurate down the middle? Uh, you know, like Alex Smith. Alex Smith couldn't throw a, a, a nine route. He couldn't throw a deep route down the sideline. Nope. It was going to go out of bounds. And, you know, nope. every, three out of every nope. five balls he threw were going out of bounds down the sideline. But mm-hmm. down the middle of the field between the numbers, he's accurate. So all of it, it, it's not one thing you look at at a quarterback. It's the combination. Um, and then the players he's playing with. If I'm playing against Garoppolo, I don't care if you have a 4-2 receiver. I don't care because he can't throw it that far. I'm not even worried about a guy running past me because I know the ball won't get there. I'm looking for the ball. There are some quarterbacks where I got to play the man. There are some guys where I can play the ball because the guy's arm's not strong enough. So all of these things come into play, man. It's not just one thing that you look at. It's 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 the the player, the same way they're looking at you, what you're good at and what you can't look at. Remember, you, guys are pros. It's so interesting to hear a DB's perspective on a quarterback. 